so there was a group of people here, seventh um, war loan now all together. So there was a group of people here that could have been paid to do something or that were loaned out um, to work together to do something. Bring him home sooner, join the waves. So there is a union or a reunion happening. This is somebody that was taken or that left till we meet again by war bonds. So this is somebody that you may have had, I hate to say this, hate, had to have said goodbye to. Um, don't let anything happen to them. Keep them firing. This could be um, your children and you could be a mother or father figure. And these could be your children. <clears throat> this could be um, a reuniting of a family. Or a reuniting with a child and a parent. Somebody wants to defend someone. Give us more of these U.S. defense war bonds. So somebody wants to defend you. Um, or defend this union. To bring it together. To make it happen. Let them have it. Buy extra war bonds. So somebody tried to pay someone to do something. They could have been this group here. Um, to ensure this union would never happen. But it's going to happen anyway. And someone tried to stop this from happening. And then I have tomorrow's a second chance. And someone is going to be very upset. So someone is really upset about somebody getting a second chance at something. And I feel like this really could be um, regarding... I'm strongly getting a child here or children and a parent. Okay. This was an inside job. So, somebody that you know, this could have been, um, oh, like the child other parent that could have paid someone or a group of people to do something, um, or I'm getting that it could also be someone in your family that did something to help this person, um, get a group together to stop this union from happening. This is really shady shit. I'm not even gonna lie. <clears throat> this was an inside job by somebody that you thought you could trust. Don't follow my steps. I'm also lost. So this person that's upset is, lo is lost. They have lost their way. They've lost their path. It's like if you had a choice between a light path and a dark path, this person decided to choose the dark path. They didn't stay in the light. So um, confession is good for the soul. Somebody has a confession to make. Uh, whether they're going to do it is, um, but I feel like this confession is good for the soul is connected to the person who may want to defend somebody. Um, I'm hearing, I'm sorry, I apologize. So somebody wanted someone to follow them blindly. I'm hearing blind, uh, you know, the blind leading the blind, but, um, someone wanted another person to blindly follow them in the pursuit against somebody to stop a union from happening and i'm strongly getting a family so there's some sort of family that needs to be put back together again like humpty dumpty <laughs> i'm hearing humpty dumpty so somebody may come towards you with a confession um regarding the a part they played in this walk i feel like someone's taking the walk of shame when I, I'm, I'm getting like the walk of shame. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen Sorority Boys. Oh my god, I haven't seen that movie in forever. But it's like when they do the walk of shame. Someone's going to have to do the walk of shame. And someone has a confession to make that they pay, played a part in this. Um, that To keep the separation from happening. Someone is going to be ashamed when the truth comes out or gets exposed. They were not expecting this. Uh, they may have expected to keep some sort of secret <clears throat> regarding a part they played. Someone's shitting a brick, man. <laughs> Someone is shitting a brick at the fact that this union is going to happen. And I, I should say reunion. This is somebody that you were separated from. That you should have never been separated from in the first place. This is really, man, oh my god, I'm seeing like somebody breaking, oh my god, ooh, I'm getting chills, there's a lot of emotions going up in here, um, 
While this person's upset because they have to take the walk of shame for the bullshit they did to another person to stop this union from happening, um, there's a parent that is, like, very emotional and crying, and, um, I'm hearing dream come true. It's, oh, wow, okay. Um, somebody was trying to keep somebody suspended from moving forward, and somebody is being quiet about a surprise. There, there could be a surprise ending here. Um, that this person's not going to see coming, this karmic energy that tried to keep somebody suspended and stop from moving forward. Um, I'm hearing a, a pin drop. Like, something is being exposed in a whole room, like, going quiet, like, completely silent at a bombshell that's about to be dropped. This person thought they had something in their pocket. Um, they weren't seeing something clearly. Someone is getting ready. Um... You know, you could be taking care of yourself, getting cleaned up, but you're also juggling. So somebody could be um, juggling. So it could be you that's going to shit a brick as well when this happens because you may not be expecting this to happen. This is, I'm hearing surprise. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Um, you don't see this coming. I'm seeing a surprise knock at your door. And, oh, God, um, okay, I, I hate to say this part, but I'm seeing a police officer standing there with a child. Um, wow, okay. Wow. So somebody was stringing something along, stringing somebody along. They were making a lot of noise to do this. They thought they had something in their pocket. They thought they had someone suspended from moving forward. Um, but someone has been secretly working behind the scenes to make a union happen, a reunion happen. And it's going to be a surprise. This involves somebody that was hiding their true intentions, their true personality. Um, somebody was wearing a disguise. When I see this hat, I see somebody who was trying to um, cover up who they really were. Someone who was trying to keep a low profile. Um, you know, the throwing rocks and hiding hands, it was like, they were doing shady shit, but they were trying to blame other people for the shady shit. Um, somebody knows that you're loyal. Um, you could be a loyal companion, a loyal parent. Uh, maybe you take good care of your children or your pet. Um, somebody could be tall. It doesn't have to be, but tall's on there. Um, somebody could be traveling around the world as well. That's not necessarily the truth, but, um... Oh my god, um, okay, so somebody's child could actually be, f oh shit, okay, um, I don't, okay, I'm not used to tapping into this like this, but, um, somebody has a missing child, and it, the child is going to be found, like, across the globe. The police officer that's going to be showing up at your door is going to be tall, um, there was someone who was loyal to you that has been loyally, so someone, someone promised that they were going to solve a case. Someone promised that they were going to bring your child home to you. This mess, I swear, this message is not for everyone. It's been a while since I've cha uh, channeled anything like this, but somebody is going to have a knock at their door. Oh God, your child's being flown home on an airplane and there's going to be a tall police officer there it may scare you it may frighten you um you may not recognize who's at the door at first it may surprise you their their appearance may have changed a bit okay is what i'm getting um i don't know how long this has been okay i i'm not getting how long or how many i'm hearing years so, there's been enough time lapse that has happened that this person, your child, um, may have aged a bit, uh, possibly hit puberty or something. So, um, you may not immediately recognize them, but as soon as you open the door, I'm hearing a smell. Like, you're, it's like as soon as you open the door, there's going to be a smell that hits you and it's going to cause you to break down and start crying. It's like, you know how animals have that scent where they can, like, identify their own child or something? It's like that. Um, 
it's like, it's like you're gonna, at first you don't recognize this person, because it's like you're looking through the peephole, you're like looking through the curtains, um, it's like, who the hell's at my door kind of energy, and then, but once you open the door, there's something significant that's going to happen, and it could even be the cologne that the police officer's wearing, but there's something that's going to trigger you instantly, and you're going to know. It's like you're going to know that's your child before the officer even says a word to you. Man, this is giving me chills. I mm, I haven't channeled anything like this in a while. Um, let's see what's going on here. You know what? Before I get into that, I'm going to go to the Woodstock cards. Whew. These late night reads, man, sometimes they get crazy. Someone's child is going to be found like halfway. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I am so, so sorry. The child. This child was trafficked. Oh, my God. This is horrible. This is horrible. By somebody, oh, by somebody you know. Oh my god. Somebody that you know... Oh. Somebody that you know worked with a trafficker. Oh my god. I'm not getting anything. There we go. There's communication. Something is going to be music to your ears. For a divine femme. A divine femme... Oh my god. This... Um, Somebody may have said that this person ran away from home with the ghosting here. This could be a feminine energy. Um, this could be a female child. I'm getting a masculine child too. So there could be um, multiple cases of this. But this reading is not going to be for everyone. Um, but there could have been a, fe a feminine energy that somebody said the child ran away or something. Um, Somebody could have tried to get some sort of money for this person, resources with the cow here. There was some sort of money or resources that somebody, um, okay, so somebody tried to say that this child left and pr chose prostitution themselves. This could have happened at puberty or right before puberty that a child disappeared. And somebody could have said they ran away from home. Um, but they were actually trafficked, and they're gonna, halfway across, I'm hearing halfway across the world, I mean, oh my god, this is somebody that you loved very dearly, so this has to be a child, there was a mess, okay, so somebody, <clears throat> somebody may have received a message, that said that this child was like at work or working, but it wasn't the child that sent the message, okay? Um, wow. Um, so this, this child could have traveled or um, you may have thought they were a lot closer than what they really were. Somebody sent a message that said this child was like near, you know, like, you may have thought this person was still in the same on the same continent as you, okay? Uh, because somebody sent a message intentionally to um, distract and um, what's the word I'm looking? Um, it, it's like um, you know when you throw a rock or something and you want someone to look over there. Misdirection. It was like a misdirection kind of thing. Somebody sent a message to make someone think that their child was in one location, but they were actually in another. Somebody tried to keep this person stuck. So, so somebody tried to keep... Somebody was keeping this person stuck and bound. Um... I'm hearing blackmail. This person could have been using blackmail or extortion to keep this person. This person could have been threatened. Um, their family. This child's family could have been threatened with harm. I'm hearing it. You see how easily. You see how easily I took you. 
who else do you want me to take from your family or some crazy nonsense like that like something about how easy it was to snatch someone up and there was a threat um to this person if they didn't calm down and follow orders that somebody else would be taken from their family um, or harmed or hurt there's big changes coming because someone has gone through a transformation when this child returns okay um they're going to be different they're going to be very different than when they left you or you last saw them okay so i'm getting like teenage like um preteen kind of energy so um okay so this person could have been taken when they were like a, a preteen but you're not going to see them again until they're like in their maybe i'm hearing early 20s possibly There was a masculine energy that you thought you could trust this oh my god okay there was an ex shit this was an ex-boyfriend that a mother dated that did this to a child um this could have been a relationship as well um but there was a mother this is it's a mother i'm picking up on and this is a mother's child and this was somebody that someone was in a relationship with or dated and it's a masculine energy that trafficked this child okay <sighs> there's a group here that's like running off abandoning ship um something was exposed Something got discovered. I'm hearing location, a tracker. Someone's location could have been tracked or pinged somewhere. Um, okay, so this mother figure may not have like changed something, like their address or phone number or something. They may have had the same phone number or address for, you know, as long as this person has been gone, this child has been gone. And this child may have memorized that phone number um and they may have reached out and something was pinged there was a location that was pinged yeah, oh my god someone has been watching this family watching what you've gone through and you're about to enter into a new cycle here so somebody has been trying to watch out for this family but like in a protective way um this family may have thought that this child was not alive anymore but somebody was looking out for them and watching over them you may have received regular telephone calls or visits from a detective who was um, investigating this for you i'm telling you like somebody promised somebody that they were going to solve this but they never found the body they could have said that this person drowned or ran away something like that uh, but they never found the body of this child. Um, and this this ex-boyfriend or ex-relationship, this person had something to do with it. They were connected to some shady people that... Um, this person owed a debt. Um, this masculine energy owed a debt to them. Uh, oh god, I don't, I don't want to get into that part. I don't... I'm not gonna say that. I can't. So this is definitely somebody that you were in a relationship with. That was connected to a group of people. There was something that someone didn't see clearly about the situation. Um. There was a reflection so somebody was looking back on some sort of resources that somebody had or some sort of resources that were gained like in a bank account someone could have gotten a huge deposit to their bank account um and something got flagged something got pinged whether it was location or um like a large deposit like to a bank or something there was some something that there somebody had to take a moment to reflect about and it was involving resources or money as well um and that could have been a dead giveaway 
there's some sort of deposit that was made that uh, a red flag was put on and someone's getting a message that the cycle is over um, somebody may call you okay first I'm, I'm seeing two different things here I'm seeing for somebody someone is going to call and tell you that they found your child and the other instance is the officer the someone's just going to show up at your door and knock at your door and show up with this child but they're not going to be a child anymore this person is um like a, a, an adult like um in their like 20s you know maybe like 18 to, i'm getting like 18 to 23 18 to 25 something they've reached adulthood um but they don't act like an adult, okay? Um, this child could have some sort of um, learning disability or something like that. Um, they may have been diagnosed when they were younger and this masculine energy knew that and took advantage of it and they exploited them. I... This masculine energy that a mother was in a relationship was a pedophile, and I don't want to say this part, but I'm being led to say it. This masculine was lusting after this child before they trafficked them, before they sold them. They did inappropriate things with this. And I know I'm, they are a child. I don't care how fucking old they are. Um whether they had just hit puberty or whatever, um, whether they were a teenager, I don't care if they're 12 or 16, um, but there was a masculine energy that was intimate with this person before they sold them to the traffickers, and I don't know, oh God, okay. Um, let's get some message cards real quick. They hired someone to spy somebody was targeted for this somebody approached mm. don't believe what you hear and frazzled so somebody was afraid that somebody didn't believe the story that they told about what happened to this child so even though this masculine energy so okay this karmic masculine energy felt like they got away with something they felt like they got away with it but they were frazzled because they weren't sure that people believed what um the story they told okay so they hired somebody to spy and watch to see what's going on um particularly with this mother figure um, possibly even before they approached them, they were targeted. Um, yeah, I'm hearing low-income families. Um, oh God, these traffickers were targeting, um, people who may have been in a state of poverty, low income, where a father figure wasn't around or nearby. Possibly not, um, that involved in the child's life as well. Um, this is like this, I'm hearing stepdad, so somebody could have been married to this person, this could have been somebody's stepdad, um, the mother figure could have had a nervous breakdown when this child went missing, and the masculine used that as an excuse to leave this feminine, um, and said she went crazy, um, that she was unstable, whatever, like he couldn't deal with her bullshit, um, instead of being kind, caring, and supportive, but that was because he was a fucking pedophile and he um he knows what happened to this person's child mm. god damn lovers yeah this person does not have good luck this karmic masculine has not had good luck they've had bad luck they're about to have some bad luck they're frazzled. Um, I'm hearing a case could have been reopened. A cold case could have been reopened. Um, pending some new information. And there's going to be a raid or a drug bust here. Somebody missed the trap. 
So for somebody, this did happen, and for somebody, this is what almost happened. Oh my god. This is horrific. And I know I'm running out of time here. Oh my god. Somebody didn't count their blessings. Too blessed to be stressed. So somebody said that you were stressed out, you were unstable, um, unreliable. Um, they said you were desperate. They, they could have even accused you of trafficking your own child. I mean, this person was freaking ridiculous. This person had it all set up to traffic a child. They could have even made a false report or a fake claim to authorities claiming that you were trying to sell your child or were doing inappropriate things with your own child. That is fucking sick. Someone is helping behind the scenes. I'm telling you, there was someone who was watching, um, observing. Somebody said they gave up their player ways, so someone may have been, um... Oh my God! Uh, some of mm, some of you are still married to this person. Oh, sick. Okay, so someone someone still may be married to this person. They did not give up their player ways. They did not stop this. Um, this person could have shown up with um, a large lump sum of money all of a sudden out of nowhere, and you may not have known where this money came from. Um, if this money was deposited into a bank or a bank account or something, there was something that pinged or red flagged. Something got red flagged. Some sort of deposit. You're going to be very happy when this, um, reunion happens. An Aquarius on a Wednesday and a Gemini could be significant. Um, something could be happening in the next 24 to 48 hours for somebody, for a, um, possibly a Gemini. Oh my god. Somebody could have been at a distance, a far cry, crying for you. I don't, I'm not going there. Um, this karmic energy ripped you off. They ripped the time away from you and your child. They stole your child's innocence. Um, this person didn't have a clue. They thought you didn't have a clue what they did. Maybe you didn't. You may not have suspected them. A penny saved is a penny earned and fit to be tied. This person seriously could have made a phone call. You're, someone's going to find out that someone made a phone call and said that you sold your own child into trafficking and it was somebody that you were in a relationship with and you're going to lose your shit. You're going to be fit. To, yeah, you are going to lose your shit. Somebody wanted to bury the hatchet and act like something was okay, um, that they were going to make it all better, that, you know, time heals all wounds. Uh, but this person had a hand in this. Cry me a river. This person's going to be crying because they're not the best thing since sliced bread. This person was so sick. This child... Oh God. Okay, this person looked at this child as if they were cute, adorable. They had some fetish bullshit. Um, they were as dull as dishwater. This child had some sort of disability, possibly a learning disability or something. Um, and they scared, afraid of his or her own shadow. They used fear tactics to scare this child. The initials M, N, O, or P could be significant. Friday in the winter time, a Taurus. Capricorn in the summer. And A, B, C, and D. Yeah, someone's spinning their wheels. They know that something is closing in on them. They could have gotten tipped off by something. Um, yeah, someone's hitting the panic button. Somebody got tipped off. Somehow somebody got tipped off about, um, the walls closing in on this person. Um, and someone's getting a victory here. Someone's panicking because someone knows that another person has the victory coming to them. And then I have an Aquarius here in July. They sent people on a wild goose chase, man. They 
Man, this is sick. Somebody missed the boat on that one. They didn't get away with it. What goes around comes around. Someone's angry. This is the calm before the storm. February could be significant, like father, like son. I told you that I was picking up a feminine and masculine, so somebody's son could have um, experienced the same thing or could have been a targeted. This could have been what would have happened to a son or a daughter. At the end of the day, somebody ended up back at square one. These people are thick as thieves. Count your blessings. This didn't happen for somebody but it almost did. Be careful. An Aries could be significant and a Cancer could be significant, okay? And I'm getting that this did happen to um, some feminines um, and there were some masculine children, um, some boy children that this almost happened to, but they missed it by barely, I'm hearing barely barely um something was already set in motion to happen and um something stopped divine timing something stopped um some your children this child had divine protection b could be significant k so i don't know how many of you guys have this where you guys live but the bk like a root beer stand could be significant um, someone, I'm hearing their first job could have been, like, at a root beer stand or something like that, or, you know, those restaurants where you, like, drive in, you pull up and you order and they bring it and, like, set it on your window. Um, I don't know how many places they have like that around anymore, but it's like that. Um, Jay. Someone could have, um, just gotten their first job. They could have got, come up missing from there as well. G. Oh, and also Burger King. I, that's funny, I just did a reading and I mentioned BK and I didn't even think of Burger King. Um, but yeah, Burger King could be, could be significant. Someone could have tried to snatch someone's child at Burger King, or um, they did. Um, the child doesn't have to have a learning disability, but I feel like for someone, whether it happened or it almost happened, um, there is a child that did have some sort of... Um, disability where it made them more trusting than they should have been towards people um e c beck could be significant b e c k and another c e Beckett could be significant as well. Beck, Beckett. O. Joe. Um, someone's name could be Joe. Joel. There's an L here. Um, so Becca, Rebecca could be significant. Joel could be significant. Um... I don't know, I heard Lori as well, and Lacey. Jim, Jim, or JR, Junior. Someone's name could be like Junior or JR as well. Um, Cole, someone's name could be Cole, C-O-L-E. Mm-hmm. And you. Alright, and I'm going to stop there. Alright, I hope this helps. Have a good night.